event's been really interesting. I've met a lot of successful women um, and uh, find it really inspirational. It's been such a fantastic day, so well organised. One of the great advantages is being able to talk to lots of other successful ladies, not only the finalists but also the speakers that they've had here. It was good to be in an environment with women who have achieved so much in, in the industry and that in itself was, you know, is a plus that I don't think I can replicate anywhere else to be fair. The judges were really friendly and just asked really normal questions, it just made me feel really relaxed. That whole process was they were really just trying to get the answers to the questions out of me and uh, spoke freely and, and we, we ran out of time, I, we could have continued talking. The judges were very informed and asked me some quite challenging questions but that's good, you know, that's what we're all here for, we're here to be challenged about our role and to be judged and, that, and, and that's what I was ready for. It was a lot more relaxed than I was expecting and the judges were very nice and friendly and it was more of a conversation, just asking what I've been up to and what I do within my role. You do get concerned about whether or not they're going to ask you a question that you're going to get caught out and you don't want to look silly, do you? So you try and make the effort. But they were all very, very kind and um, really interested in what you had to say. It's not just a judging day, there's other things going on. We're having a good debate out in the foyer right now, which is very interesting. The guest speakers were great as well put a different spin on some of the things that I've come across in the industry. It was nice to see so many successful women in one room. My job has been to keep everyone amused while the judging was taking place. I'm in the main room with a group of expert panellists and as the tables go off group by group to be quizzed by the judges, we talk about some of the issues that women face in the world of construction engineering. I'm really enjoying uh, seeing all the guest speakers that we have on. It turned into a bit of a debate where some people ask questions from the floor. The speakers have come from all sorts of different fields. We've had very senior women engineers, we've had architects, we've had constructors and we've had consultants. And I suppose the common thread is that they have all made a successful career in this industry. And then uh, after the judging process we then stood up and gave our 40 seconds and uh, oh, it was such a lovely atmosphere in there and, and for me it was also really interesting to hear the other 40 seconds from the, the other participants. Everyone was clapping and smiling at the end so I must have said something right. <laughs> It's been a brilliant day. We've uh, seen some very strong candidates from a wide range of, of industries and also an international element which has been really good. One of the uh, candidates summed it up in her 40 seconds actually is that wouldn't it be great in 5-10 years if we don't need a women category at all, it's actually for anybody uh, in construction and engineering. I think that's a fantastic aspiration to have. The candidates are of an exceptionally high quality. They're really committed to the construction industry uh, and uh, I've learned a lot. It's been quite exciting. It's great to celebrate what we do and it's an opportunity to you know, be in a room with women who have achieved so much and, and hopefully even achieve much more. It's amazing that engineering is being celebrated in this way and I, I feel it's, it's like the Oscars for engineering so it's giving us a great excuse, all of us ladies, to get dressed up and I shall go and get myself a new posh frock. I don't know if I'll be going long or short, I don't know, but there'll be a nice pair of stilettos I think.